he perpetrating and he got a small dick. And I'm like, girl, you gonna do all this shit and the dick is small? <laughs> because I asked the person, I said, well, I said in my head, I said, hey, what's up, Wes? I said, hey, maybe you looking at it wrong. Maybe you think of this person as a friend, but they don't think of you as a friend. So let's ask. So I asked, I said, hey, do you think of me as a friend? And when, when, and if so, when did you start thinking of me as a friend? I said, ooh, but Ray J joined me. Ray J was joining me, he was like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, is he choking? <laughs> <laughs> Hazel said it happened when she was in college. So then I thought, I started to think, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> so the same face, some, in some kind of way, she goes, yeah, Ray J hit it first in Hollywood. I said, <laughs> She was like, I just cannot believe, even before we started casting, how everybody was so connected. <laughs> What's going on world? I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences and the similar connection that I want to adopt with you, the ask dot of this video is with the reunion part one of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Now, this is actually one of the best reunions I have seen in so freaking long. <laughs> I think another good reunion was Real Housewives of Atlanta last season. That was a good reunion. And the reunion before that was pretty decent, but yeah, this particular reunion was actually fun to watch and very entertaining. And I think Mona Scott Young, you need to be the host from here on out of all of your reunions. Don't pick and choose which season you want to be the host on because you know some shit's going to go down and your ass don't want to be on stage. <laughs> Did y'all not notice that security was on point? What? Mona Scott Young was like, uh-uh, I ain't about to be the host because nobody wanted to host that shit. After what happened in Atlanta, she was calling people up like and getting getting the hung up on getting the dial tone. Boop. Du, 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 du. Hey, Wendy Will, boop. Du, 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 du. Hey, some more boop. Like nobody wants to host her reunions. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. But anyway, Mona Scott Young used to be the host. Cause she is shady! <laughs> This reunion talking about everybody fucked each other. We even made a graph and crayon and put it up on the <laughs> about who slept with who and who was with who and blah 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 and this and that and the third. I want to know what Nikki's tree looks like because y'all know I love me some Nikki and I hope she ain't got that many branches on a tree. I hope she only got one branch, Molly Mall, on a tree and I hope she didn't get fizz none. That's all I hope it. I was hoping, but um, that was sh it was shady. But she was like, I just cannot believe, even before we started casting, how everybody was so connected. <laughs> I was like, Mona, you better stop. Damn, that shit was hilarious. They all looked like they were annoyed as hell. Like they did not want to be there. They're all like, ugh. <sighs> And I'm just like, wow, I don't know what's going on with that. And so Mona Scott asks Hazel. We start off with Hazel E. Lord Jesus. <laughs> we start off with Hazel E. And she's like, why do you think there's such a difference for women as far as who they can do, what they like, how they do what they do sexually compared to men? Because it's, we all know the answer to that. The answer does not make any lick of sense. What's, it just doesn't make sense whatsoever. But it is what it is. It's just one of those things. It is what it is. Only you can decide if you care that you sleep with 50 people versus two or five or whatever. Only you can decide that for your, yourself. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Or at least it should not matter to you. But, you know, Hazel comes in and she's like, well, you know... <laughs> It's a code that women are supposed to follow that you don't go after your friend's man. Then Bird chimes in and he's like, well, then you fuck right out? I said, what? <laughs> I 
Right there was like, oh, wait, wait, oh. Oh, bro, you going early. You doing this early, huh? We started. <laughs> This reunion had me dying laughing. This reunion had me dying laughing. <laughs> Between Mona, Ray J, Bird, Nikki's mom. Oh my God, this reunion was off the hook. <laughs> oh my God. So Mona Scott asked uh, Hazel, Hazel, what is this true? Did you and Ray J, did y'all really? Hazel was shook. <laughs> Hazel lip was trembling and shit. It was like. <laughs> she didn't want her out. So the same face, some in some kind of way, she goes, yeah, Ray J hit it first in Hollywood. I said, <laughs> Plug that whack ass song <laughs> and apply that to your twat and say Ray J hit it first in Hollywood. That shit was hilarious. Oh my god! But Tierra knew about it, so it doesn't. It's whatever. It was history. She said. <laughs> Hazel said it happened when she was in college. So then I thought I started to think. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Something years old. Me and Ray J are the same age. So if he slept with her, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Not unless, not unless she did some online courses. And she did that to last year to get the car. <laughs> oh shit! This is gonna be a long ass reunion. Shit, this is gonna be long. This is gonna be long. I'm sorry, y'all. We get into the whole Ray J and Tierra situation first. Ray J says, you know, you weren't delusional. He apologized and he says, we are good. Soldier Boy was watching this like he had a drink. He was watching this like, mm, this is this is a movie. I'm watching. Nigga eating his popcorn. Then we talk about the infamous box, and then Princess comes out. Princess says, um, she's like, what's up, fake ass hoe? Then Morgan says, you the only hoe on the stage, hoe. Fake ass how the princess says, you know, that they are working on their relationship. They were broken up for two weeks. Mona Scott is throwing mad references at Princess falling in the mother. <laughs> princess falling in the motherfucking pool, saying that you know her and Ray J's love goes deep, deeper than the deep blue seas. And I'm like, ooh, Mona Scott is shady. She's shady. I love it though. I love it. <laughs> Cause that shit was hilarious. So we see uh we see the little flashback uh collage collection of videos, you know, dealing with the whole princess and Ray J and then all the way up to Tierra, then walking on, on the beach, which is why I, I wanna know what, what happened, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> princess said, Oh, that was a cute little video, that was cute. <clears throat> but it didn't last long, you know what I'm saying, because she's with Ray J now, whatever the case may be. Um, Tierra says you're a prostitute, you know, because you know they was going back and forth <laughs> after the little after the little ending or whatever, and um, you know Tierra's like says you're a prostitute, ho. Chuck on a dick. Princess says, <laughs> Princess says I'm the prostitute. Weren't you the one chucking on a dick last week? I said, ooh, but Ray J joined me. Ray J was joining me. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm like, is he choking? <laughs> what is Ray J doing? Is Ray J, shut up, Ray J. Let the girls fight. Don't be in the mix. Don't be Peter. <laughs> he like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, Ray J, Ray J is so, ooh, Ray J was so, wasn't you just apologizing to the girl? But then again, you know, and then again, you know, Tierra is bashing his girl. So I guess he got to stick up for his girl. But Princess said, Berg, wasn't she sucking your dick last week in the back alley? 
Berg was like, huh? <laughs> Woo! That shit was hilarious. OMG, you know, Tierra got hot. She got up. She wanted to fight and shit. Prince is like, girl, sit your bitch ass down. But you know, security came up fast. Ain't gonna be no Jocelyn Hernandez situations up on chill. And I can't wait to see the next reunion of the Atlanta thing because they're gonna be on their guard. Now they're gonna be on their guard. The Tierra says Ray J wasn't happy because Princess was telling their business. And then Morgan was like, Tierra, was I the one telling, uh, did I tell you about the whole situation with Princess? Tierra was like, no. Ray J was like, Tierra, don't lie. Tierra, don't lie. Don't lie, Tierra, don't lie. We'll never know the truth, I guess. Then we get into Hazel and Berg, and this lasted for a long time. We see the flashback. Uh, when we get to the flashback where she's listening to her song, you see her on a reunion couch like, L, four page letter L, word L. And I'm like, girl, love that song. Berg apologizes to her. And she's like, well, actually Berg was like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. And it's like, he really... After what, well, you know, when you watch that clip back, and he's like, all right, I'm down with that. And he kisses her. I'm like, okay, I can see where he was kind of like playing a, a game or whatever. But there were so many more episodes where he was like, look, get it through your thick skull. I do not like you. I do not want to be with you. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, like, Hazel, stop. Like, you know? But they're going back and forth, and then Hazel, <clears throat> Sincere gets in the mix. I don't know how Sincere got in the mix. I really don't. But he tries to downplay Hazel and her age. And I'm like, all y'all ain't 20-something. So y'all need to stop, because all of y'all are not 20-something. So, like, what are we talking about? Like, you know, the only ones I think that's in their 20s is Fizz in his 20s, Omarion's in his 20s, probably Monice. We know uh, Soldier Boy is 23, or 24, just turned 24. So it's like, we got the old ones talking about, you know, I don't know. Sincere ain't nobody's 20 something. If he is, damn. That's all I'm gonna say to that. You know, um, but uh, people, everybody was telling Hazel, stop Hazel. And this is what I'm gonna tell you, Hazel. I just went through this shit, Hazel. Hazel, if for whatever particular reason you are not with Tom Hanks' son and you're watching this review and you've got up to 11 or 12 minutes, wherever we add in this video, come here to the screen and, and listen to me real quick. I was just where you were this last week, okay? This is an ask Dodd moment. This is an ask Dodd. Adopt a similar connection despite our differences because you're a straight older female dealing with straight situations. I'm a gay, younger than you, male, dealing with gay situations. And so I was just in a situation where I felt that someone that I thought I was cool with, cool enough for them to give two fucks, would not partake in a situation with somebody that they knew I liked. Okay? So I was the hazel in, not really, but I was the hazel in the situation, but not really, because not really. So I was in my feelings. Not over the one that I liked, but over my friend thinking that that person was really my friend and like, why would they pursue someone that I liked knowing damn well that I liked them? So I was in my feelings about that situation. I'm like, all right, I'm over this person, but why is this person pursuing this person knowing that I liked them? So I was all in my feelings, all in my feelings, acting stupid and retarded, just all up in my feelings, right? I put myself through all of that. Not this person, not this person. I put myself through all of that. But I was in my feelings because I would never do that to a friend. Like, I just, I wouldn't do that to a friend. That's just me, though. Not everybody has that definition to a, for a friend. But everything got smoothed over, smoothed down, rubbed it all down nice and neat today. Because I asked the person, I said, well, I said in my head, I said, hey, what's up, Wes? I said, hey, maybe you're looking at it wrong. Maybe you think of this person as a friend, but they don't think of you as a friend. So let's ask. So I asked. I said, hey, do you think of me as a friend? And when, when, and if so, when did you start thinking of me as a friend? That's what I asked. I said, I asked that. You know, I got to find out. <laughs> so the person hit me back up and was like, <clears throat> no, I actually consider you an acquaintance. And, you know, I'm getting to know who Wesley is. I said, oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. Now I feel better. I 
feel so much better. I feel alive. Okay, I feel I feel grand. I feel a thousand times better because. Now, every fucking thing makes sense. There is no way on God's green earth that if that person was your friend, that they would pursue someone knowing that you like them. It just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. But here's what I'll say. I wouldn't consider that a friend if they did that. Other people might not give two fucks because I have a friend that doesn't care. But no, don't do that to me because you'll get cut. <laughs> Fine another nigga or another chick for you to deal with because there's plenty of dicks and pussies out here in the oceans for you to hook up, hook, line, and sink her up. <laughs> so when he said that, he was like, I think of you in the crazy. I was like, oh my God, thank you. I feel so much better. Now I don't got to give a fuck. <laughs> so hey, you go, girl, I've been there, girl, but you know my secret ain't thinking of you as no friend. Leave that alone. Let that go, mama. Let that go. Then Hazel's like, you know what, I don't really care because he got a, a small dick any goddamn way and he perpetrating he got a small dick. And I'm like, girl, you gonna do all this shit and the dick is small. Because <laughs> those females like long shit right now. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into the male and male situation because some men like long things. And then others don't give a what the size is. But majority of the females that I've spoken to said they like it long. It got to be at least eight inches or more. I'm or more. So, you know, if I ever get with a chick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I gave it a name for a reason. But I'm just going to say, we're not talking about me. We're talking about Berg and his fun size. So I'm like, girl, if she got a, well, they did, Tierra and Hazel did explain what a fun size is. It means that you can't have fun with it, but it's not all of that. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. You shouldn't have brought it up because that's, no. Because, you, I mean, at the end of the day, you look silly for even thinking about bringing that up, knowing that you was on his fun size, sweating him the whole season. So it's like, why? <laughs> I can understand that. And then Berg was funny. Berg was like, well, you know how the ladies are. They always try to bring up somebody sized up in a situation like, you know, if Hazel said, Tierra said that Ray J got a small dick. Ray J was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. My dick ain't small. You can Google my dick. We ain't even talking about my dick. I don't know why my dick came in the conversation, but my shit ain't small. You can Google my dick. I was like, Ray J, we know, boo. Mm -mm. The whole world know, Ray J. You don't need to... You don't need to do all that. We we know. Then we get into Hazel, Tierra, and Hazel and Masika. We already know the ship was left field. Tierra wasn't really that empathetic and sympathetic to Hazel's feelings. She was really blunt and cold with it. But whatever, that's just her tactic. Uh, Masika and Hazel, we already know what that is and what it was not. And then my beautiful goddess chimes in, my girl Nikki. Nick, Miss Nikki, baby, I'm about to follow you on Twitter. And if that's your Instagram, I'll follow you on Instagram. I love me some motherfucking Nikki. Even with her crazy ass mother, I love me some Nikki. Nikki should have calmed her. <laughs> Nikki should have calmed Michelle down. She was doing the most. But um, needless to say, I love me some Nikki. Nikki gets in. She like, mm. I'm just going to say it like this. I was like, yes, Nikki, give me, give me everything. Nikki looking flawless. Nikki looking flawless. <laughs> flawless, Nikki. What Nikki said, Nikki said, uh -uh. <clears throat> she was like, um, people watching TV think that what they see is what it is. And she was like, if you, you shouldn't be portraying something if that's not what it is. And if it's real life or whatever, you know what I'm saying? She was getting all into that. And then Sincere and Mona was like, well, that's what y'all should be portraying y'all real life. And then Nikki was like, well, yeah, duh. That's what I'm saying. Like, at the end of the day, y'all should be hanging out and, 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 and hanging out like y'all are friends on TV if that's not what y'all really are. If y'all aren't really friends, we shouldn't be watching y'all hanging in and kicking it and she crying on your shoulder and shit, but y'all not really friends. I say, yes, Nikki. You better go ahead and say that. That's how I love me some Nikki. And then, uh, you know, my secret made this comment because Hazel and Nikki had linked up. She was like, well, two whack bitches are going to get together and discuss me. Nikki was like, bitch, I'm not whack, bitch. I, what'd she say? What'd she, what'd she say? She said, I can buy your life. I was like, ooh, 
yes, Nikki, yes. <laughs> yes, Nikki, I love me some Nikki. Then we get into the whole Molly Mall and Nikki and my secret situation. Michelle, the mother girl. There's really nothing even for me to talk about about this situation, but the mother girl. Michelle, Michelle was a hot, ratchet mess, but she was sticking up for her daughter. That's fine, but Nikki should have took her ass off stage. You know why, Nikki? You should have took her off stage because Nikki is a boss. Nikki don't need her mama on stage. That's what it looked like to me that the mother needed to be there, but the mother did not need to be there. The mother just created fluff to carry us through the rest of the uh, part one, but that was unnecessary because we didn't get anything resolved. It was just a lot of name calling. I could understand why Masika was even wasting her time arguing with this, <laughs> arguing with this lady. Why is she even? Why is Masika even wasting her time arguing with this lady? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get that at all. But at the end of the day, you know, Nikki is close now to Molly Mall. I don't get why. I don't get why. Uh, then again, if, if, if they were broken up, Molly Mall can do whatever the hell he wants to do. But I'm like, he lied. So it's like, why? Like, I don't know. I don't know about that whole situation with her and Shopping Mall, but part two is going to be hot, though. Part two, part two is going to be hot to death because we get in this situation. Ray J. Ray J is a mess. Oh, Lord, Ray J is a mess. Ray J sick princess after Morgan. And that's what Morgan said on the radio show. Sick. Oh, just Ray J. <laughs> Ray J is a mess. And then Fizz, not Fizz, uh, Bird and Shopping Mall get into the mix. They about to get into Fist to Cuss. It's part two. Is a, part two is going to be a mess. Part two is going to be a mess. But this particular re this reunion was entertaining. Entertaining. There was a name dragging in the mud. Not it. It was a. It was a lot. And I thank Mona Scott Young for being the host of this particular reunion. It was all of that and then some. And shout out to security for keeping everybody in check. They all that security need to be at the Atlanta show. Show sure enough. And y'all know the New York uh, one starts next week. Is it next week? I think it's next week. Yeah. So um, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, did it come on? I was watching the end of this reunion thinking that it just it was coming on. Like it came on right after the reunion, but it said on the screen next Monday. So whatever, whatever. But anyways, leave y'all comments below the video. Let me know what y'all thought about this particular review and the reunion part one. And what are y'all predictions for part two? And what are your predictions for the rest of the season, next season? Because I want to watch it. It's going to be hot. I, I told you who I'm watching it for. It's going to be hot. But why in, the pre why in the preview we didn't see anything with Omarion in April? I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. I don't know. Deuces.